Hello all. Uh, let us start this session on software testing through OpenMentor.net. The previous sessions we talked about test planning. We talked about master test planning, detailed test planning, test case writing techniques and uh, how to review the test cases. The next step will be test execution. Within the system testing phase, first is planning, then execution. Within execution, the very first step is test bed setup. People will also call this as uh, test environment, right? The environment in which your application is going to run, it really matters. For example, when you are supposed to test some application, your desktop on which you work, right? It may be MS Windows uh, Vista uh, with some memory configuration. But the client may want a test server which is uh, Fedora Linux and then that needs to have uh, Apache Tomcat say x.y version MySQL 5.0 version right and the memory should be around uh, say 4 gigabytes right they may want a different hardware configuration and a different software configuration you may not do all the tests on your desktop in fact most of the times you will not install a software on your desktop as a tester's desktop and then do the testing. So you need to ensure a new machine is configured and then you start testing in that machine. My mentor always says wash your hands before eating very simple fundamental principle start clean the message is start clean whether you are going to eat or whether you are going to test before you start testing make sure the test bed the machine on which you are going to do the testing is clean in fact some customers really say you need to start from scratch okay uh, it may include partition the disk, format the disk, right? Install OS and then install other software and test, right? It may look like, oh, okay, why should I waste this much time to do the testing? The fundamental principle is start clean. The cleaner the environment, better is the results and the results will be predictable right otherwise it's difficult okay customer asks for mysql 4.0 to be tested but you installed 5.0 and then tested it may work may not work right the hardware and software configuration must exactly match with what customer wants. Ultimately it should mimic the machines of the end users or the servers of the final live machines. If not it's a problem. So how to ensure that everything is correct, the configurations are correct. So you should make a checklist, a checklist meaning hardware right make a simple checklist right processor what should be the speed memory what should be the capacity hard disk right drive right uh, network bandwidth what should be that right and then uh, what is your OS in fact within OS they will say OS patches also service packs or patches patches or service packs then what is the db version 
what is the web server version what is the JDBC ODBC driver version right and then uh, any other software other apps that you need make a simple checklist of all these including most important is including versions suppose you have to say some database x.y.z you need to get only download of that and then install in your machines even if you install one version before or after you are not exactly replicating what customer wants so making sure that the test bed itself is correct is a big task imagine uh, 25 testers need test machines how are you going to make sure that everything is clean so you should have created a task for your system administrators and network administrators to get such systems in place on the day and time that you need testing that's coming under test planning if you have not done if you have if you remember in master test plan we talked about hardware resource requirement software resource requirements licenses right so you should order before then only the network admins and system admins they will provide you those exact machines otherwise you may be doing with some machine which may not have the same configuration what customer wanted now the question is if so many people want then the network team should plan their task how to do should I do it in the evening time night time or should I do it automatically right and this this is the key only after all these from processor to OS everything is clean then only you can install your application for testing right it is called AUT application under test right and again the application under test will be given as a build by development team we will talk about installation test separately soon after this test bed setup okay once this is done what we need to do is it's not just only the hardware and software configurations we should also need to ensure right including the network speed and net connectivity right net connection should it be there or should it not be there should I have a VPN connection or not also some of the tests may need antivirus uh, software installs right so some tests need to be done with that on some of the testing will require including firewall configurations right do this test only with this firewall configuration in your machine it may also involve IP address configs right should I have the IP address in this range for testing or not should DHCP enabled or be or not right we need to make sure all these items are put in the checklist before we install our application under test this is where but this is a time consuming job in previous years many people used to do this again and again and again the networking team in fact they will train the testing team to do OS installations DB installations and everything but nowadays we have got a better solution for that that is nothing but virtualization virtualization you have got uh, VMware right or uh, Microsoft virtual PC what you can do is previously people used to do um, ghosts right they create ghosts or images of a machine so you can have a ghost of a Windows 2003 or Windows uh, XP and then install back onto your machine it will erase all the previous contents but the problem is it will overwrite the existing content but using virtualization you can have your desktop increase the RAM size and CPU size you can have another machine within your machine so I can have a Windows uh, 2003 server in my XP machine 
which is possible through Microsoft Virtual PC. Same way I can have a Linux machine using VMware within my desktop so that I don't have to go to another box or a machine or a physical machine to install the software. So this virtualization what happens is a set of pre-requisite software are installed on a brand new machine. Then uh, a virtual hard disk is made uh, along with virtual machine. Right? People who are uh, familiar with uh, virtual hard disk VHD and the VMC machine files in Microsoft environment. Same way you can see that in VMware also. But these virtual machines, virtual PCs may have uh, uh, gigabytes in size. But it is one time. You make sure that everything is cleanly done. Then you can take it as a snapshot. Then just boot that virtual PC within your machine. Then you get a brand new clean ultra clean test environment within your box. You don't have to run around. So in nowadays as long as you pay that uh, licensing fees for virtualization of uh, software you can minimize a whole amount of hardware configurations and you can minimize more importantly the time to install the time to get the test bed ready within a fraction of a minute it will be as good as you are having in TVs picture in picture you can watch a channel side by side in a small window in a rectangle you can see another channel right suppose you are viewing the news at the same time what is happening in tennis right you can watch both of them side by side same way using virtualization you can have your regular desktop you can view that parallelly you can have another virtual machine running within your box you can switch back and forth depending upon the memory size and CPU size uh, you can have any number of virtual machines within your machine or it can be installed in a server you can access it it acts as a real machine though it is virtual it is acting as a real one so using this virtualization technique the test bed setup time is drastically reduced right so that every time you start testing make sure that you are starting clean once this is done then install after this at the same time after testing completion right right destroy that uh, virtual hard disk right very simple so that you are making sure that everything is clear then you are posting back the snapshot again to start ultra clean it's like going back to the time machine without wasting time right so using virtualization nowadays a whole amount of test bed setup are going on so even if I have to install it on 100 machines all I need is just copy that virtual hard disk and virtual machine and VMware right boot it it may take maximum one minute that's all right so test bed setup but all the more important but if somebody is else somebody else is giving you the virtual machine but you need to ensure right you need to ensure that the software installed in that virtual machine are correct up to the last digits in the versions more importantly for virtual machines also right we can allocate memory so though you have installed a virtual machine if the testing needs 1 GB RAM you can allocate how much of physical RAM should be shared with that virtual machine so that configuration you need to still do that right so this test bed setup will be the very first step in test execution after this we will go for software installation testing right there the test really happens right now we are now getting ready it's like on your marks get set right up to the test bed is like get set now we can start running it I'll stop this session here
We will continue with installation testing in the next session. Thank you.